Okay, uh, welcome to Coffee Talk, guys. Uh, the two o'clock has been filled um, and it is the power of social media. How amazing it is to be able to sort of put out an appeal and for it to land on the right lap. Okay, so, so it's been all COVID, COVID, COVID for the last 18 months. And I feel so sorry for my uh, cancer chemotherapy clients because I had to close, as you know, um, and it was so difficult for them. They were, you know, having a tough time inside in hospitals. Now with this goddamn cyber attack that's in the hospitals, it's awful for them. And then extra to that, then I was closed. So I wasn't able to give my poor cancer chemotherapy a lift because I had to close. And um, microblading is an incredible solution for cancer survivors. Like, here's the deal. So those undergoing cancer chemotherapy, they deal with their hair loss in different ways. And of all the permanent makeup techniques, microblading, combination brows, the most one, the one that most replicates the natural look of real eyebrows would be eyebrow microblading. Um, and cancer survivors, they say that it changes their morning routine because they don't have to draw on their eyebrows anymore and they don't have to deal with that anxiety when they're giving somebody a hug that they've drawn on their eyebrow and they've left their eyebrow on that person's shirt or if they need comfort um, and that is a very real anxiety. My clients tell me that all the time and when the swimming pools open that you know that when you get out of the water at least you're going to have eyebrows on or if it's raining or if you're sweating and cancer chemotherapy Clients sweat quite a bit because it's part and parcel of the chemotherapy process. And if you do this, you have one eyebrow on and you're after smearing off the other one. And that, like that pencils galore in their handbags and pockets. So they can wake up with eyebrows again. Guys, it's a total life changer. Um, and these little hairs over our eyes, they get no attention until they're actually gone. So with microblading, there's no hair in microblading. Obviously, it looks like a hair, but it's very flat. It's the, the microblade glides onto your skin and it's it's a cosmetic tattoo. So each hair stroke is created by hand with our microblade. Let's like see if I can find one. Here we go. Um, this is the Tina Davies one that I use. I don't know. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is obviously demonstration purposes only. But we use that to create hair strokes in your, just under your skin, on the brow bone, giving a 3D effect in its appearance. So they're actually, it's not a blade at all. It's actually 15 needles lined up in a row. So we create these little hair-like strokes into your skin with these tiny little needles. So it's not a blade. Um, and pigments then are pushed into those little um, hair strokes that we apply. Topical anaesthetic is used, so most of my clients, well, they chat away because they like to chat anyway, but some of them fall asleep, some of them snore even. And it works for full brows, it works for thin brows, it works for no brows, for alopecia, um, with the most natural results. So this procedure can, you know, it takes two hours, the first step. And then we welcome you back then annually for a color boost. So it fades off over the year. Now you come to us three times um, to, for your treatments. The third step is usually complimentary steps so that we can just review your tattoo and you're good to go for a year. And then you're invited back then annually to have it freshened up. So of all the permanent makeup techniques, microblading and combination brow, that's the blade and shade, um, it most closely replicates the natural look of the real eyebrow. So yeah, it's very popular. Um, and it's a great solution for people who've got no eyebrow hair. Now, as a registered nurse, I can actually do your eyebrow microblading in cancer chemotherapy, during the chemotherapy. I'm the only person that is permitted to do that. Um, and or you just want to meet me, book in for a consultation and that I can actually put your mind at ease when it actually comes to our qualifications here. Um, so, yeah. So, are all cancer patients eligible for microblading and permanent makeup? So, according to the OTI, which is the Oncology Training International, 
they do not recommend that people who are immunosuppressed or if their skin has become very sensitive during the cancer chemotherapy, um, that they don't have it done. But to date, or they're neutropenic. The biggest issue, I suppose, around cancer and cancer chemotherapy is the certain medications and treatments. And we have only a certain window within the cancer chemotherapy plan that the oncologist gives you. And even though um, we are covered uh, by insurance to do it during chemotherapy, we still recommend that your consultation form is viewed by your oncologist and that he gives you the full permission to be able to attend and it's just for our insurance it's a kind of a double insurance um so yeah doctor's note and all you have to do is reach out for, to us for that consent form and we'll forward to you but it it to you by email you can print it off and bring it to him at your next visit and then you discuss between you then when is your best time for you to come to have your bright eyebrow microblading you get in touch with us and we will make it happen so when, if you've been newly diagnosed with cancer, when is the best time for you to have the treatment done with us? So everybody handles pressure. So we, they come to us before they start their chemotherapy. Um, you can have it done up to a day before you actually start your chemotherapy. And I capture your existing shape. I might even be able to improve it. Um, others wait until chemo is over. Um, and if you were going to any other microbladers who's not a nurse, you can have it done before chemo and you have it done six weeks after your chemo is ended. And if you come to us, you can have it done before, during and after. And you don't even have to wait for six weeks after your chemo is ended. So in many cases like this, where the client knows that they're going to lose their eyebrows, your oncologist will be after telling you that you, will, you know you lose your hair. Nearly everybody is losing their brows now. So get in touch as soon as you... So how do you select the right artist um, who's going to suit you and your eyebrow needs? Well, we always recommend that you do your research. Um, so nearly, near, well, all of the hospitals in Cork do a referral process to us either way. We now have referrals from Dublin as well and from Waterford, um, the Whitfield Clinic. So if you're specifically looking for somebody during cancer chemotherapy, I'm the only nurse that I know. their before and after photographs um, and I would ask to see their COVID care policy as well it's so important at the moment ask to see their insurance and if they're cheap ask them to know why they're cheap so if you um, find cheap microblading invariably it's because they have little or no experience they're using cheap uh, pigments or they have uh, little or no insurance so my these are up there with the masters of Europe and the States. In fact, the States is far more expensive. In the States, this treatment is $1,200. So it's a beautiful treatment for cancer patients, for anybody who has no eyebrow hair, for any reason, cancer or no cancer, including alopecia, thyroid issues, postnatal, trichotillomania, and so on. So if you need any further information, please, we're here. Just Email us for our free information pack to browtycork at gmail.com and we'll send it out to you. But we're not taking new clients until November. I hope that helps.